So, a pointer is the address of a variable. There are two addressing operators. Ampersand gives the address of a variable huh? while star gives the value at an address. Okay. So, we'll try out the simple program first of all. Define a variable int a is equal to 10. We'll also define a pointer variable p is equal to ampersand a. See how it Address of A is or print P. Value of A is A. Save it. and run the program. Let me start on the semicolon. Build and run. Since there is some error, see how the address of A is and we've got P, then value of A is then A and then N L. So build and run. This is the address and this is the value. Let's work it out the other way. Value of P is obviously P. Value stored at P is the tools star P. Try this now. Okay, value stored at P is 10, and value of P is this, which is same as the address. And it's the same as the value of A. Okay. We can do it using A only. That would be like this. Instead of P, you write ampersand A. And instead of A, you simply write A. So you can still get it. Okay. Now, let's try using parameters to understand pass by value and pass by reference. Create a simple function void. We'll call it value swap. Now I'll pass two variables here int x, int 
ยสวัสดีดีอยู่ซิงเออร์เทมเพอร์รีเวอร์เรบล์อินทีคูดูเอ็กซ์เอ็กซ์คูดูวายและวายคูดูทีเดี๋ยวเราเอาไปใส่เวอร์เรบล์และเมสเซจ INTA is equal to 10 and B is equal to 20. C out in main A is equal to A and B is equal to B. Put in the NL. Now, call the previous function that we made. Value swap. Pass A and B. Well, again, print ten mil. In value swap. Swap. X is equal to X. Y is equal to Y. In that we said before the swap, and we'll print this after the swap as well. So we'll copy this and put it here after the. Swap. We can use it here as well. In main. After value call. We run it now. See. In main it's ten and twenty. In value swap before the swap is ten and twenty. After swap. Is 20 and 10, and then in main it remains 10 and 20. So the swapping inside the function has not affected the original variables in the main function. Now we'll try and develop a address swap. See, we'll just copy it. I'll call it address swap. For that, we'll have to use pointers here. Integer pointer a x and integer pointer y. So p is equal to star x. Star x is equal to star y. Star y is equal to Instead of value, we'll write address. We'll let address here as well. And instead of x, you need to use star x, star y, star y, and star x. Okay. Now. We'll call the address swap function. This time we'll have to use the addressing operator here, ampersand A and ampersand B. We'll also print 
the values once again and this is after address call run the program in value swap after the swap it's 10 and 20 started at 10 and 20 it got swapped inside the value swap function but the main values were not affected then in address search before the swap we still had 10 and 20 after the swap it became 20 and 10 and in the main it became 20 10 as well in the previous case it remained 10 and 20 so this was done by passing the address okay c++ introduced a new method which is called pass by reference let's make another copy of this I'll call it reference swap reference swap Reference to use the reference swap, you actually define this as int ampersand x and int ampersand y. Then you simply use it like before. We don't need to put in the stars. Reference web is a simpler syntax and therefore it's good. Now we'll have to call it once again reference web A comma B. After reference call, build it run once again. See. After the address swap, we had ended up with 20 and 10. Now we call the reference swap. We got 20 and 10 before the swap, 10, 20 afterwards. And in the main, it has changed once again. You swipe twice and you get back the original values. So, if you use addresses, you have got to use the ampersand operator. And you define it this way. And then, for simple reference swap, you just put ampersand while defining. You don't need to do anything while calling, you call it the normal way as you call in pass by value. So you call this like this and you call it the same way as well. This is innovation brought in by C++ and this in reality is pass by reference. This is not actually pass by reference, you are passing the address and therefore things were getting changed. Okay.